Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Troy from Cichlid Bros. In today's video, we're doing something a little bit different. I'm not talking about my 180 gallon or my 75 gallon aquarium in this video. I got a brand new water box 10 cube and I'm gonna be setting all that up today. This video actually spanned about four to five weeks, but I'm gonna compile it all in this one video for you. In that time, we set up the aquarium, we planted it, and we picked up fish. We're gonna show the process from start to finish. I really like how this tank turned out and I think you guys will too. Before we show that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button. We really appreciate it and let's dive right in. Okay guys, so jumping right into the unboxing here, I have a water box tin cube, which after doing some research I know will fit perfectly on my desk. My brother Quinn has a water box 20 cube that is a salt water tank, but I'm going to be setting up a freshwater planted aquarium in mine. I'm really excited to try something new and to have this tank right next to where I'm working most of the day. I ordered this at waterboxaquariums.com and it did take quite a while to deliver. It was about six weeks, which was definitely not ideal, so this was a very long wait for me. It's been 84 years. Okay guys, so the tank is actually going to go right over here. This is my work desk. This is where I edit all of our videos and also work from home. So there's a nice spot right to the left of my computer and that's where we're gonna be setting it up today. So I won't be running CO2 on this aquarium. So the light and the substrate will be very important. This LED light is perfect for plants and I'm really excited about it. This light comes with an app so I can set the timing each day to be exactly what I want it. But the other very important part to this aquarium is going to be the substrate. So I went with Fluval Stratum, which is a very good substrate for plants to grow. So I'm trying to create some depth by having the substrate go upwards towards the back. And then I'm misting some of the substrate and other decor later in the video just to make sure it's more locked in place and easier to work with. So for the hardscape, I took a piece of driftwood that I have been soaking. This is to make sure the driftwood doesn't float right after I get done aquascaping all of this aquarium. I also tied a small piece of Anubias Nana Petite to the driftwood here. And then it was time to place some rocks from my local fish store. One of the things I wanted to make sure to do with the hardscape is to leave about two to three inches in the front of the aquarium that I can use for my carpeting plant in the foreground. And this kind of provides a natural barrier for that foreground plant to fill in completely. And also I'm pretty new to planted aquariums as I've typically only kept larger cichlids. So I just watch a ton of YouTubers to start to learn some of these elements of aquascaping and planted aquariums. And also take it easy on me if I'm not doing anything right. So for the plant setup, I knew I'd have a great light, good substrate, and I would be adding fertilizer pretty regularly. So I wanted to make sure I had some pretty beginner plants to fill up this aquarium, starting with Amazon Sword Compacta. After adding the background plants, it was time for the mid-ground, and I went with two different types of crypts, which are also low-light plants that can work really well in this setup, um, and it's just a little bit shorter than the sword, so I think it will work out really well. So lastly, for the carpeting plant, I went with dwarf hair grass. It was kind of a mess getting this planted, and also it wasn't my first choice. My local fish store didn't have the actual plant I wanted, which was the S Repens. So a lot of people have said it won't without CO2, but I do have a lot of the ideal parameters outside of CO2, so we'll just have to see. Filtration on the water box is really simple. It's an all-in-one system with a filter sock. And in the middle compartment, I used previously seeded media for my other tanks so that this water box will be ready for fish very soon. I used a few cupfuls of water from my 180 gallon aquarium just to use some of the nitrates for the plants and then it was time to fill the rest of the aquarium up with water.
The pump and the heater will go in the third compartment. The pump was super easy to install as you're seeing here. And then lastly, I use Aquarium Co-op's Easy Green for my fertilizer, which I'll use once per week. weeks later okay guys so I picked up fish from my local fish store it's actually the first time I had been there it's a place called beyond the reef I didn't know how great of a selection they had on the freshwater side of things and we might actually do a store tour so stick around for that <laughs> these guys have been floating and acclimating for about half an hour so I'll show you real quick what they are and then I'll drop them right in Okay guys, that does it for today's video. I hope you like the setup. I know it's gonna make working from home a whole lot easier for me. I'm really excited about this tank and I'll be sure to give updates of the progression and growth of this tank over time. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week.